Hello folks, I'm going to show you how to build a nice, simple spray hydroponic bucket. So it's kind of a mix in between aeroponics and hydroponics. It's not quite either or, but it's just kind of my method to do this to make these types of plants grow really well in a nice environment. So you can see I have like all sorts of different things growing in here. Um, and what these do is that the roots are hanging outside and inside there is a sprayer you can see right down in there and there is a pump and there's this the uh, liquid that is used to make these plants grow so what i'm going to do is show you a very simple way all you need to do to get this up and running on your own in an environment maybe like your garage or possibly in your home or outside all right so we're going to measure a little stuff here and then we're going to cut this out so i've got four Holes, so I'm going to use this to uh, measure and um, draw my circles and so I don't want this to be too far over here I don't want it to be too far over here usually about uh, maybe half an inch I'm thinking maybe what this uh, 10 maybe uh, 10 centimeters I guess I'm guessing on that one so I'm gonna draw that and so I'm just gonna mark this using this one all right, I'm gonna try to get it straightish. It won't be 100% straight, because I'm doing it. All right, that's that one. Let's do this one. So that's two. Pull that in a little bit. All right, there's that one. Flip this one around. And if you can get a good sticker off, that'd be great, but we're just gonna cut it off. And there's that one, all right. Okay, so that's got those. Now this one, here's the trick with this. Um, you don't wanna cut exactly uh, the entire length of this, so I'm gonna make one hole. I'm gonna make one and then I'm gonna make a a smaller circle that I'm going to use to cut because what we're going to do is we're actually going to cut uh, on the inside of this whoops kind of dorked that up didn't I there we go all right so I'm gonna use all my artistic skills I can in drawing a circle inside of a circle I was not an art teacher nor an artist so don't don't judge okay so I cut that one that one's there now, uh, so we're going to cut this one. So like I said, we're going to do this and we're going to end up sticking this through here. And with that, we'll cut around all around the side, not all the way through, but just slightly. It'll make it snug and it'll fit and it won't come loose. Now, granted, this isn't going to move a whole lot. So you don't need to really worry about, um, you know, it coming loose. So uh, now at this point, we're going to cut. I'm using a razor blade. Be very careful with this. Um, so I'm going to kind of work this in a little bit. This uh, plastic is fairly soft and um, it does work best um, if you are very careful with it, one, and you cut it at an angle like that. That tends to work pretty well. Now if you're like into drills and saws and stuff like that, you can definitely use that to cut these holes and you know make sure that they're nice and um, perfectly round because mine ain't gonna be no uh, sort of round. It'll be close. Okay, so you cut that one there. So that one's cut. Um, the, one, the one thing I do like about using this is that if I use a saw or drill, there's a lot of like plastic stuff that comes over where um, sometimes you can get that off, sometimes you can't. That gets into this or it gets into the plants and you don't really want that. Okay, so I cut that one. Um, let me show you how to do this one. Now, these plastics that I'm using here, this, uh, the bucket and this, these are food grade safe, food safe, right? So um, when you're using that kind of material, you wanna make sure that whatever you're using is food safe. So that means that the plastic is not going to leach into your uh, solution because you're gonna be putting a, you know, um, a fertilized type solution in here and it makes it safer and so less likely that you're going to be consuming this in the future all right so that one 
shave a little bit off there. So it's roundish, right? It's not really round. So there's that one. I'm gonna finish up these other three and um, show you that. All right, through the magic of video, we are uh, completed in such record time. Look at this. I have all four and then we have the small one. So this top is done. So that part's finished. Now, um, let's work on this. Whew. Okay, so um, when you get this, you have like a lot of different, um, you have a lot of different uh, connectors. So this is actually the smallest one that they have. And um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna kind of weasel this one in a little bit till it kind of gets to, not completely, but where it's in there, you don't wanna push it all the way down, um, but it, it's snug, right? And so what you wanna do is then um, screw this one in. Whack a dude away like this, I guess. Okay, that's, all right, that's in there pretty good. And um, this is a 3D printed part. Um, I'll, I'll have that listed in the uh, description. So if you want that, you can use anything that you want um, to make this kind of go straight. Um, if you don't, it's gonna be at an angle. It's not, you're not gonna get a very good spray and some of the plants may not grow well. So this just puts down like that. Now, we don't need, um, I don't need this. So maybe you can do about like say an inch out of here. Just snip it like that. And um, like I said, no matter what I do, this thing is just not gonna go straight. Now this has kind of like a, um, like a thread um, and it just conveniently can easily just thread right up in here. And that's it, it goes tight and stops. And that's it for that, that's, that's done. So now all we're gonna do, we're gonna stick this in this get all these things I'm missing one this one's I used one before and um, okay so we're gonna stick this in here and what you want to do is make sure that this lines up in the middle so it might be off a little bit like that okay so that's there like that um, we have our we have our top so let's thread this through our top like so Sorry, just had to adjust there. And we will put this down like that. Okay, so we'll, we'll move this, but I just want to show you this piece that um, now we're going to kind of cut this a little bit, just a little. Kind of like that. So that way we have got kind of a groove going right there. So I'm gonna put this like that. And I'm gonna work this one in a little bit. And you see how it kind of catches there. There we go. And that groove. And so that, that way that's gonna be nice and secure. Uh, right, so straighten this up a little bit. All right. Okay, so I mean, essentially, you know, essentially that's kind of done, right? So that's that simple. It is that simple. Um, so now all your, the main part that you're gonna be worried about, um, I look at the directions, right? I would go over this, but um, the directions are probably a lot more, uh, a lot easier to understand. You're gonna have to have an off time and an on time. So you're gonna have that it's gonna be off for a certain, or there's a time that it's gonna spray, so say every hour, 45 minutes or whatnot, and there's gonna be a time that it will spray, right? So um, there's a time it activates and there's a time that's actually on. So read the directions on that and um, be patient with it. Um, it can be confusing. And so when you first start it up, now the first thing you probably wanna do, I'll show you this, is just to test this, to test this whole thing, make sure it actually works first before you put it into the timer, otherwise you're gonna just sit in there waiting for the timer to run and it'll take forever. Okay. So the next thing we need to do before we start putting plants in here is to go ahead and get our nutrition going. So I'm a fan of this, uh, the General Hydroponics. 
um, brand. You can use any others. I don't have any affiliation or anything with these people. Um, they just, I've been using them for years and I like them. And uh, they do a good job keeping the plants uh, nice and healthy. So what I did figure out though, is that there are instructions on here that kind of give you an, a guideline of like how much to put in. What I found is that um, when I put 100 milliliters of all three combined, meaning that the whole thing is gonna be 100 milliliters, it ends up doing much better than it did like using some of the directions. So granted, you're only gonna have about um, maybe two and a half gallons in there at a time, uh, but using about 100 milliliters of solution depending on each stage of growth, right? Because this one is mostly, you have new plants that need to grow, so you're gonna have more of this, and you're gonna have some of that and that, okay? All right, so we've made our mix here. We've got, um, basically what I've got, I've got about half, so 50 milliliters of the flora grow, because these are uh, new plants. Um, we've got 25 milliliters of the flora bloom and 25 of the flora micro, and the flora micro is what gives it that color. So now we're ready to put this in here. And this is going to be the location of our little spot. Um, I have a little crappy grow light. Those things are expensive and they just, they don't perform. These, uh, these $25 lights right here um, do a better job. Okay, so that's in there. Um, you know, we got our thing. In, our pump in there ready to go all we have to do at this point is just fill this thing full of water and stick our plants in and plug it in and then that's it very simple so i've got my water in here you see i've got it Let's see if it'll focus sorry yeah there we go so um these are new right so i don't need to worry about it uh uh overfilling and whatnot so it is a little bit below that sprayer and so for this one i already have two that are ready to go these are cuttings and you see how we kind of cut that really tight, right? Um, so that fits in there very nicely. Now these are um, these are peppers. These are ready to go. So I'm going to stick these in as well. And we've got two spots here that don't have anything yet. So I'm going to fill these up and I'll show you what I'm going to okay, do. So that. these two are not ready to go. This is kiwi. I'm actually growing some kiwi. Um, so what I've done is just I've stuck these... Uh, these in here is just going to block the water from spraying out so these two are good to go um, you know the roots were already coming out of this one so these are going to take off anytime the roots are up below that block they tend to do really well once they're put into this type of system so you'll see um, explosive growth uh, pretty soon after that and then these uh, cuttings are doing pretty well uh, it's kind of a Vietnamese um, type of um, herb that we grow and use for food and we enjoy it so, all right, so now all I need to do is plug it in and just see if I've got things working and then just hook it up to the rest of them and then just all let right, it go. So the first thing you wanna do is plug it in and test the spray to make sure that you have spray. And while you see that, that means spray works. So we can unplug this over here and then just plug it in on a regular okay, spot. So we got it plugged in, it's all done, it's ready to go. So we got another system built. And I um, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, just use your imagination on what you want to grow. You can grow all sorts of things in here. You don't have to be limited to just um, lettuce. I mean, <laughs> I don't grow lettuce. <laughs> I don't like it. So here's kale. You can grow kale. That's grown well. These are mustard greens. There's different varieties of these. Um, you can grow sweet potatoes. You just grab a slip, stick it in there let it go and this is a uh, malabar spinach it's very pretty um, you can grow tomatoes these are all done from seed this is a banana plant you can grow that that's a carrot we'll see how that goes i don't know peppers oh yes so this is a ghost pepper it is kind of starting to develop uh, flowers so i don't know if i'm going to be brave enough to actually eat it and um, here is these are uh, cherry peppers. And so I've got several in here. And this has done really well. It's only dropped like a couple of flowers and it's done great. So you can kind of pull up the uh, plastic over here. And you can see 
what I've got going on down here. Sorry for the shaky camera. Uh, so I have beans. I'm growing beans. These are that's black beans right there. Um, there is corn. There is uh, um, what are those? Garlic uh, chives. Yeah, those are chives, and they're awesome. So once again, I've got more mustard greens going over here. They grow very fast, um, very big, and I have some fruit stuff growing here. These are winged beans. Those will be interesting to see how those go. And then that is our um, Malabar spinach that is going off that way. And it looks good. It looks really, really good. These are almost all, nearly all of them are grown from seed. So uh, you just start your seeds off, you let it go, and just let your imagination take you where it wants to go and try it because you, you got nothing to lose on this. So thanks for watching. I hope you all have a good day.